All right, we're back at it. I'm getting ready to start running. Try to wrap this up today. Last time it took us two and a half days. That's roughly where we're gonna be at. Pretty much the same thing. We, uh, we're short guys this time though, so it was going better overall. But anyway, as you guys know by now, put on about 19 square by myself yesterday, no tosser. For anybody who thinks that I can't keep that stuff up, you know, for any extended period of time, I had to do a lot of it. I really did. You know, there was times I had, you know, a 70, 70 square week with 38 hours, you know? And the key to that is, is take care of yourself. Take care of your body, being in shape. Even though I look kind of fat because my guys let me uh, wear that, that, that shirt all tucked in yesterday. No one told me I look like a dumb ass. But anyway, so I do stretches. Like I was just getting ready to lay that and I was like, okay, even though I feel good right now, I know it's going to catch up to me in a few minutes. After about five minutes, my back's going to tighten up. I'm aware of that. So I'm going to start. Uh, I used to jog around the roof once in a while. I don't really do that anymore. But, you know, I'm going to warm up a little bit. I'm going to do some stretches. I'm not really going to hold many stretches. I'm, uh, you know, those are uh, static stretches. I'm going to do more dynamic stuff, okay? So just, just a little stuff for my back, stuff for my hamstrings, quads a little bit, even my feet. Because, you know, we're walking on this angle and everything like that. So, you know, it's worth it to me to take you know three to five minutes just to do that right before i get back to pound town and that's not gonna you know that's not gonna hold me up during the day it's gonna make me feel better and uh i should be able to get get this done james will be here he's probably gonna help me with this for a little bit and uh we're gonna knock out them back downs clean up everything We've got a bit of a mess going on in here and uh john should have these tore off and dried in for us and uh We'll just be able to knock those little little one square runs out. Maybe not quite a square. Soon some change, I think. And okay, I will update you guys. Bye. So I just got done with the stretch, but I was thinking during it. And I just want to, I didn't really touch on it as much, but when I said, you, you know, there's probably a lot of people who think I can't keep this up. There's a lot of people who don't believe me that I put on 35 square in today by myself. No touch. People just don't really get it, you know, and I'm hoping that I showed you guys that I can do that because I mean I went through a whole lot of whole lot of penetrations and you know doubles and everything stuff that's right on top of each other. There's been jobs where it was just a hip run, which is easier to cut than these rakes here. It's quicker and Nothing in the way, not a pipe, ridge, it's all ridge vents, so there's no vents, no stacks, no nothing. Long runs, every run was probably 80 squares. It was a, it was a capital E-shaped building, all hip, you know, and I just, there was one time, this is how much of a freak I am. When I was going to Afghanistan, we got this random leave right before we left to Texas, because we trained in Indianapolis, which is away from home for me, for about a month. Then we got a three-day pass before we left to Texas. So I got to come back home for Easter. One of the days I went to my old boss and I said, let me get on that gravy. Nobody else is working. It was a Sunday. Even though I was leaving for Afghanistan, I didn't give a shit. I went up there and I shingled for three hours and I got 12 square. I was averaging four square an hour with doing my starter, snapping lines, all that stuff by myself. So once, once you add that up over the course of a day, as long as you hold that pace, that's not going to wear you out then it goes from four square an hour to five square an hour, you're gonna start to average. And before you know it, if you're shingling on a full day like that, especially if you have competition and other guys doing it, and it, you know nobody wants to take a break because another guy ain't taking a break, man, that shit adds up. So if you guys don't believe me that I've done stuff like that, that's fine. I'm not here to really impress you guys. I'm here to show you, you know, what's possible. And hopefully you guys can pick up on some of the stuff that I do. And if you got other stuff, I, that's, that's, that's fine. I'd love to see it, really. I wish more people would make videos on how to shingle, you know, and, and their tips and tricks. So, you know, I learned a lot from that Rick Grace guy. You guys probably see I opened my bundles a little different. Thanks to him, you know, I'm faster just by seeing that. So I haven't, I haven't changed much about my setup over the years, but that's one thing that I have. And, uh... Yeah, you know, these videos are just here to help you guys, and, and and I hope I'm doing a good job. I hope you guys don't think I'm real cocky or arrogant or anything. That's not really the message I'm trying to get across. The haters really put me in a place where there's so many of them, I almost just take pride in, you know, getting little knocks at them. There's, you know, there's someone right now that's watched like 10 of my videos in the last three days, and he keeps commenting saying negative stuff, 
about everything. And it's just annoying as hell. And I would just love for him to see the video of me doing this yesterday in this last two hours. Show me, show me that you can do that before you talk some goddamn shit. Sorry, that's how I am. Okay? All right, bye. By the way, I was over here uh, kind of doing a bit of an inspection. And I found uh, the shiner right here. Oh, yeah, that's mine. But. I looked at this whole side and only seen one. And I'll tell you what. First off, I don't have it, probably any over there. Uh, but I will check. If a boss or anybody came up and saw a guy blasting it out like this, all perfect nails and one shiner, he's not going to be mad. So if anybody called me out on that shiner... <laughs> Alright, so while James is finishing up, I decided to start on cap. I've just never really showed you guys how I like to cap. You know, a lot of people do it with, set it with two hands and then and go ahead and pop it. Some do four nails. I don't like that when you put this on here and you nail on the star line, it doesn't go through the back of those. So I do understand why people four nail. I've still never had an issue with it. They obviously made it like that. You know, and tested it, I'm sure, so it's probably okay. You know, we're not in a super high wind area. But, uh, see, I got off because I put it on with two hands. So this is what I like to do. I like to get some on the left foot. And I will never cap any differently unless, you know, there's like a really steep pitch. Sometimes I'll stand on the opposite side and do it a little different. But for the most part, anytime I'm ever capping, uh, you can see me do it real nice uh, in my... Uh, like 40 minute video the first one that's got like over half a million views, but for right now I'm just going to show you guys how I like to do this It's just nice and simple very fast This is one of those things I used to get whooped on all the time And the guy who was beating me would always just do it just like this And he keeps it real straight And he stays very fast just because it's uh, very consistent here And uh, you can put that nail in walkable pitches and still be able to reach for that other one once in a while you get some flow throughs especially if it lands perfect like ours did and you don't have a lot of shingles underneath it if we had, had another row we'd get a little a little bit less of a blow through looks a little crater thing but i'm confident in it it's not that big of a deal i add them when they really blow through plan on, uh, after I win that competition, when I hold it, I plan on uh, having a shingling course made up by then. Something to really help people out. Little tips like this will speed you up, because you can shingle pretty decent all day. You don't know how to cap. You're going you're gonna to end up taking way too long. And same thing with pipes and setting up your shingles. There's a lot of wasted movement. A lot of people don't completely realize. You know, I put the time in to make it right. Take all the guesswork out of everything. I'm not going to be like those other guys either. Try to charge an arm and a leg. I'd probably do it for the price of roughly what one square is. 20 bucks or so. And that video should speed you up a square an hour, even if you think you're fast. Because there's tips on, uh, you know, like I mentioned earlier, how to uh, keep your body fit for a day. You know, for a whole day or a whole week of shingling, I've got so many tricks for that. You guys can burn it out. Right. 
she's calling you now. Oh, God. All right, that's enough. All right. John bumped us out of the video. Here we go. Hmm. See, I didn't snap a line. Look how pretty damn close that is. For something that I already know I'm going to have to cheat on, pretty good. Start to seal down. Mm -hmm. Had a warm day today. Mm -hmm. Finally. So you see where this would go if I put it on? How there's a really small difference? That's why I said we're going to cheat this down about an inch. We'll cheat the next one about an inch. We'll just sit and good. What did I nail here? The starter or the shink?
So I'll finish the rest now, and then I'll shoot off that extra single back there. Mm -hmm. that this is seam on seam almost kind of like it's stacking itself it's not like gonna void a warranty because it happened once you know what I mean so it's not a big deal plus whoever has to use a manufacturer warranty anyway once in a great while you might get a granule loss or something like that but nine times out of ten if not more it's fall on the installer and that I am comfortable with Lock in there. Oh, and I'm running short on shingles that I grabbed here. Oh, man. Damn it. Could have made all the difference right there. Done did it to yourself. I may have. I think I would have been short anyway. You would have been one short. At least one. Keep looking right down those two rows so people can see how little difference there really is. Yeah, it's very small when you yeah. cheat, cheat twice like that. Mm -hmm. Come on, baby. Oh, I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> and I didn't plan my nails for it either like I normally do. It worked, worked out. I'll take a smidge off this mm -hmm. so it falls in between these two nails. Mm -hmm. Usually I don't forget to uh, watch my nailing right there. When you've got an overhang about the width of your stair step, that's going to happen a lot of times. You've got to add this little one footer out here in the middle. And you'll see, usually I stop my nails here. 
That way I can land one right here. Uh -huh. <laughs> I was wondering was why that one was so much harder than all the other ones. why we do our back downs last. It was uh, much more efficient. So these are all nailed. It's these ones that got to get nailed now. It's a little colder out too, so these things aren't super sealed, you know. I'm not pulling any of the sealing off as I do this. I should still probably get a flat bar out. Make it a little smoother. back down we got plenty of warm weather ahead of us and I'll be able to use all of this scrap you see that camera mm -hmm. I'll be able to use all of this scrap on the next ones but you can hardly tell I gotta clean that gutters too, damn it. All right. Last nail's gone. Oh, there's one more trim nail I can hit in. They had these trim nails pre-placed for me. Good thing I didn't throw that hammer down.
All right. Just got to go up there and caulk. So the hose is down and we're good. Maybe a little last little minute ground cleanup. They got everything done though. They're running the magnet over there. <sighs> got it wrapped up. All right. Got this thing all blown off. I'm just up here to caulk and throw the hoses down. So got the headlamp on. I'm gonna bust it out. We're completely wrapped up. Ready to get paid.